ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Universe Sim. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be jumping into this alpha version of the Universe Sim, which is a god game on a planetary scale. I should stress the developer was kind enough to provide the key I'm using to play the game at the moment. Once again, it is in alpha, which means there are going to be some features that aren't fully fleshed out at the moment. Now, with that said, the question, the tagline in the top left is what would you do with the power? Well, I say let's find out and let's start some new life. So here we are above the beautiful world of Universe Sim. I've decided to not enable tutorials for the time being because I've put about two hours into the game thus far. I have a fair idea of what's going on and I figure it's easier to just show rather than tell when it comes to the workings of this game. So, with that said, we're going to zoom in a little bit. I'm thinking we're going to zoom in just up here a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and place this structure right there, which is the Evolution Tower, which is the core of our entire civilization. Now, from the Evolution Tower, we have four nuggets. And nuggets, well, that's what you call your people. They are nuggets. And they're doing things. They're getting some food from uh, around here. They'll go and chop some trees when they get a bit, uh, when they decide to. Uh, and there are two of the nuggets that happen to be children. So they will eventually grow up and get to work. Now, with that said, Evolution Tower doesn't exactly give us everything we're going to need. So I want to go into here. And initially, I want to go ahead and get a water pump. And the water pump is going to go in that spot. And next to it, I want to go ahead and add something along the lines of a fishing pier, because that means we can get some food. And this is kind of important, the fishing pier, because the food we'll get from that is obviously going to be, well, fish. But what's so important about it is the fact that we can get fish all year round. There are seasons in this game, and at the moment, it is currently spring. So then it'll be summer, then fall, then winter. And in winter, the ground can freeze over, which means that if we were to build some farms, which we can absolutely do, unfortunately, those farms aren't going to do all that well. Uh, there's also biomes and all that stuff. So this is going to be grassland. That's going to be forest. Over there is mountain. Different crops are affected by different biomes in the farms. So we'll go ahead and build a farm just over there in the grassland spot. It does look like it's floating a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it does conform to the terrain when it's actually built. But uh, my priority at the moment, aside from the floating rocks, which is a little bit interesting, again, the game's in alpha, my priority is, of course, going to be the water pump. So I want that to get built so we'll have a nice supply of water. Speaking of water, though, we're also going to want to get ourselves a well which I'm going to go ahead and place just over here a little bit. And it's important to have those because my nuggets would rather get water from a well as opposed to going to the water pump to get it. The pump obviously gathers the water, but they want to get their drinking water from a well, not the pump. But if needs be, they will also just run into the lake or into the body of water, whatever it may be. I, I guess that's sort of a lake. It's a very big lake sort of on a, on a planetary scale. A uh, very big lake that they will occasionally run into if they desperately want some water. Now, with that said, it is summer, which is good. So we'll speed up the game a little bit and we'll hopefully get this water pump built nice and quickly. This guy's over here mining some stone, which is beautiful. Looks like the water pump is going together. It is 25-ish percent done. Construction shouldn't take too long on this. Over 60%, over 70%, over 80%, 90 and it's done. Beautiful. Didn't mean to pause the game, going to be honest. Uh, but there we go. Water pump is done, which means we can now provide uh, 80 units of water. And we're only consuming two at the moment, which is absolutely beautiful. That gives us an opportunity to have a bit of a look at the UI, if we so desire, which I do. And if we look down here, this is food. So at the moment, we have seven raw food and zero prepared dishes. Like I said, we are 
generating 80 units of water. We are consuming two. Generating no power, consuming no power. Over here is the oxygen, oil, and gas levels of the planet, which aren't implemented yet. Over here is general resources, so stone, wood, metals, oil, gas. Uh, name of the planet is currently Mother Planets, which I can actually change, uh, which I guess will be uh, Nerdia Prime. There we go. So Nerdia Prime is the name of the planet. Uh, up here, this is my creator power, which is what I can... I, I can use creator powers uh, if I so desire, or at least I could in a different version of the game. I'm not quite sure why I can't use them at the moment. That'll be what I get from not playing the tutorial on this new version of the game. Uh, that's fine. I didn't really use creator powers anyway. Basically, it's things I can use to like pick things up and in, uh, influence everybody. Also, the music just restarted in a very, very strange way. We'll not worry too much about that. Again, it is uh, currently, currently alpha. Now, these two structures that are being built here are, well, that one's a well. That one is a stone hut, which is a home. So that's quite exciting. We also need to assign a nugget to do some fishing. So you there are going to go ahead and do some fishing. It is currently locked to a second one, which is, it's nice to know that I could eventually add a second nugget into that. That is certainly quite nice. Oh, the farm is floating. Interesting. Again, in a previous version of the game that I played, uh, this didn't float. The farms were also a little different in the previous version. This is sort of my first time looking at the, the newer version. You're going to have to forgive me. Uh, let's go ahead and get... Uh, do I want you as... Uh, do I want a farmer currently? Do we need one? I don't know if we do because summer is... Probably about midway through. I guess we can try it. I guess it won't hurt to put Elu on farming duties. And then, uh, so these these are the crops. Currently, we have food, we have herbs. Uh, herbs are quite important for, I believe, the hospital. Which is something we can build later. Uh, so, there's bloody diarrhea fruit. I'm not joking. There's manbro fruit. And these are all going to be after a certain type of biome. Now, this one, Bloody Diarrhea Fruit, can grow in a grassland. The... Let's see. Is this the... I don't know what this is. This little chart here. I wonder if that's at the temperature range or something. Can I get info on it? No, there's no local information available for it at the moment. So, the growth speed is... The green one. The red one is the amount that will be harvested. And they require 20 units of water across a year. Let's go for that. Let's get some bloody diarrhea fruit on the go. That seems seems like a great idea to me. Seems like just a just the best idea to me. Uh, now we do have some fish that have been gathered just there. We're building some more houses. I do want to go in and I want to get ourselves an eatery. Because with an eatery, we can oh winter's coming. Uh with an eatery which, for some reason, I can't really place anywhere, which is very strange. Uh, with this, we can go ahead and actually start preparing some of the food. So, some of the fish that we get and anything that we were to get from the farm, we can prepare over here. And uh, that means that food quality, I think, is just going to be a little bit better, which is beautiful stuff. Now, there's a few people running around complaining about not having uh, water or being thirsty. I'm not too worried about that, although it could be an idea to maybe go ahead and get another well uh, so that everybody's nice and happy. I think I'll throw a well just in there for the sake of it, just so uh, it's one a little bit closer to everything. We could throw a well just over here as well. That's way too many uses of the word well in one sentence, but there you go. We'll get one just there, and that'll hopefully be good. So hopefully we can get this built up nice and quickly. Uh, the well is getting some good use, although I think the the base of it is currently clipping through the ground. I'm pretty sure in the version of the game I'm playing at the moment, there were some big changes to the terrain generation, so it's sort of to be expected that there would be some issues with it. Uh, so we've got six adults and one child at the moment. Everything's freezing over because it is winter, which is totally fine. I actually really enjoy that. I love that you can zoom out and you can see just the whole planet, but the whole planet is, it's just giving in to winter at the moment. Everything's freezing over at the, uh, at that pole, which is kind of interesting. It's just really nice. It's a really cool idea, just 
playing a, a god game on a planetary scale. Like I said, it's just really, really cool. It's also interesting that it's not... The ground isn't completely freezing over here, which is quite nice. In fact, I think... I think the frozen ground might be retreating a little bit. It's difficult to know if it is, but... I think we've had a pretty mild winter, to be honest. Which is a first for me. Most of my winters have been very, very harsh, so... It's nice seeing one that has been, uh, that has treated me quite well. The temperatures are sustaining themselves, which means we shouldn't have too much trouble, uh, growing some crops over here. Although you're currently doing nothing, which is interesting. It seems like, uh, what is this? That's the building's current condition is 86% for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why we aren't growing anything. That's really, really strange. I'm not going to stress too much about it. There's not much sense in stressing too much about it. Let's go ahead and get you working at the eatery. And can I upgrade this building? Apparently not. That's totally fine by me. Uh, so the eatery will, like I said, generate some prepared meals, which is exactly what we want to do. Where's Elu? So you're in there doing nothing at the moment, Elu. Uh, are you? Oh, you are growing things. Okay. The farm doesn't have enough water to function. Oh, yeah, no, we do need another water pump. Okay, let's go and get ourselves another water pump. We'll throw it just over uh, there if we can. I'm not quite sure why it's not snapping. There it is. So we'll throw that just over there, and that should be totally okay. Uh, now, here's a question. How can I turn off, because I could do this in a previous version. This is going to be a weird sentence. Uh, but there is a way to, as far as I know, turn off um, automatic mating. Yes, I did just say that. <laughs> that is a sentence that I just said. Uh, automatic mating is something you can absolutely turn off so that your population doesn't just keep growing out of control. It's just interesting that the button that used to be up here in the top left is now gone for doing so. I really should have read the patch notes for this, but I was kind of excited to just jump in and uh, learn the game as I go. So I'll not worry too much about it. We seem to be producing enough food. Uh, very soon, we well, we are actually producing enough water already. So that's not so bad. Let's just head over here and we'll get ourselves another water pump. So that we sort of future-proof that area. And we should be totally okay. 11 adults, 2 children. Not bad. The well is in bad condition. Uh, that is actually a bit of a worry. It's that one. So that well's in pretty bad condition. Now what we can do about that is go into the epicenter tab and get ourselves uh, some engineers, which I'd absolutely want to do. Because they're going to go ahead and they will uh, fix things. So we'll go ahead and get some uh, an engineer's hut built just there. A water pump is in bad condition as well. I assume this one. Yes, it is. That's totally fine. We'll get some engineers doing their thing. We can also... Oh, you're hurt. Yeah, we're going to want to get ourselves a hospital. So let's go to Epicenter. Let's get a hospital. And it's a pretty big building. So let's throw it just up this way. Sort of out of the way a little bit. Uh, so the hospital can go just there. And that should be okay. Uh, we can go ahead and get a couple of nuggets working as engineers. So let's get you working as an engineer, and let's get you working as an engineer. This building does need water, doesn't need power. That's totally okay. Nothing to worry about there. And the engineers are heading out to repair things, which is beautiful news. This building has now been repaired. So everything should keep on working pretty darn well. I'm also thinking it might be an idea to go and get another farm so that we can start growing some herbs for the purpose of healing people. So let's go to adaptation. Let's get a farm and throw it just... Um, actually, no. What's the... Let's cancel that. So what's the herb I'm looking for? It will grow in grassland. Juicy acorns. Okay. Um, just keep growing bloody diarrhea fruit. Man, that's a name. That is, that's a, that's a sentence I never thought I'd be saying on the channel, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, so we'll throw that there in the grasslands. We'll get that farm built. And what we'll do is go ahead and start growing some, uh, herbs there. Now, obviously the, we do need to get a witch doctor. So, Shambu, you can become the witch doctor. You're going to go to the hospital and hopefully start treating people there. One of which is very, very thirsty. Quite a few people seem to be very, very thirsty. And I'm not quite sure why, because we do have wells around here. 
It is a little bit strange. Also, Shambu, uh, you're currently doing nothing. All right, so you're going to the hospital. What are you doing? Where are you going, buddy? All right, so you're in the hospital. And you are off to do something else. Okay. Not really sure what you're off to do there, fella. But you do you, and don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I think, actually, I know exactly what Shambu's doing. He's off in search of some herbs so that uh, he can do some healing. So that's going to be fairly important so that people can be healed here at the hospital. So we'll get that done. And hopefully it doesn't take too long. Uh, the well can't be upgraded. I don't know if anything can be upgraded. I'm pretty sure that's what that button is. I know this button's demolish. But uh, I don't know if I can actually upgrade anything. So you've injured yourself. That's fine. We built another... So we've got a couple of stone huts going up there. The population's growing real nicely. Now this farm's done as well, so let's assign a farmer to it. We'll get uh, Jiha working here, and this is going to be growing juicy acorns, if you don't mind. And it's winter. Okay, that's totally fine. So we've gone through a year's worth of seasons. Although this planet's quite small, so I don't know if it's... It's not a year in... Well, it's not, it's not a year in real time. This is one video, obviously, but, you know, things are going pretty well. Uh, we've actually been... The civilization is 54 at the moment. That's not necessarily 54 years old. I'm not quite sure what that is, because the, the way time works is very interesting. For example, uh, Chuha is 27. Uh, you're 11. What are you doing? What are you actually doing? You're a laborer. What were, What on earth were you doing? Also, you're a citizen of Mother Planet. I disagree. You're a citizen of Nerdia Prime. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Where are the citizens of Nerdia Prime? That's my question here. I'm looking for people that are citizens of not Mother Planet, but citizens of Nerdia Prime. Because this isn't Mother Planet. That's not the name. It's, it's Nerdia Prime. The great planet, the best planet of Nerdia Prime. Uh, I do take offense to it being called anything other than Nerdia Pl Plime. <laughs> Nerdia Plime, there you go. Uh, I feel like I've just offended myself and my own people with that. Okay, so at the moment, water consumption has come down a little bit. I assume it's because of the winter. How the, uh, and I assume it's because the farms aren't technically working at the moment, which is probably okay. Uh, we have got the hospital here. Medicine is being prepared, so this person here in the bed, uh, Ahu. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna add the, uh, the old <laughs> in there to a lot of these names, because it sounds a little bit better. So, Ahu. Uh, <laughs> that's not, a, that's not offensive, right? That's not, that's not. What are you all doing? This is, this, is this like a getting resources thing? I feel like it is, because there's a lot of resources in there. I think you're all like getting resources. I think that's what that is. I honestly have no idea uh, what is going on here. <laughs> I really, really don't. Uh, so I, I think they are just getting resources. What are they building? I haven't a clue what they're building. Uh, I'll tell you what I would like to do though. I'd like to come over here a little bit. Uh, we have 20, 20, oh, someone just died. Oh, not Ahu! Oh, no! We don't have a cemetery yet! I've never had someone die before. Uh, let's get a cemetery. We need one of those. We definitely need a cemetery. Uh, so throw the cemetery just up there. And whilst we're constructing that, I'd like to come down here and I'd like to get another uh, fishing hut thing. Fishing pier? Fishing pier. So the fishing pier can go there, apparently. So we'll get that done. We could maybe also go for... Yeah, we do definitely need more food production. It's not as quick as I'd like it to be. Uh, there's a few people running around that are apparently starving, which is a little bit strange, if I'm honest. Because we do have food, we just don't seem to be preparing or consuming it all that well. And there's a thunderstorm somewhere. Oh, wow. There is a thunderstorm coming in. I love this camera, by the way. I love that it leans when you move it around. That's really nice. Uh, also, if you're watching this in like a big screen, you're close to it. Enjoy feeling a little bit sick because of that motion. I do apologize. Um, right. 
So there was a thunderstorm overhead. It seems to have just disappeared, which is very strange indeed. A lot of people running around having issues with hunger and thirst. I think I'm going to go ahead and throw in another one of the wells just over this way. Because they seem like they might need it. This water pump is not a complete thing. It's not going away, is it? Cemetery is not able to stand on its own. Beautiful. Let's get a grave digger on the go. We shall get Chuha in there. Don't think anyone's actually been buried at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, we should soon have the well up and running, which will be beautiful stuff. We have another fishing pier as well. So let's get a nugget working there. We'll get Ahu. Didn't we? No, we lost Elu as well, really? Man, come on! So you're going in there, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? You're going for a body? Oh, jeez. Oh, there's, oh no. Oh, jeez, he's just, just, just hovering around. That's amazing. Uh, so there we go, we have a grave. Ahu. I'm so sorry. Oh, Chuha just injured. Okay, good. They're really good at injuring themselves, apparently. It's kind of annoying. If anything, it's uh, it's a little bit, a little bit annoying that they keep injuring themselves. Um, how do I turn off automatic? I feel like this might have been, I feel like this might have been like disabled for this version of the game. I really don't know. I really don't. If I look into settings for a second, uh, why is the planet detail on medium? All of the. Uh, Graphics options have reset themselves. Uh, tutorials are off. That's fine. Zoom sensitivity is fine. UI skill. I'm gonna bring that up a little bit. So okay, so that won't take effect until we restart the game. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. Uh, that's all fine. Interesting. That some of this stuff is. I want to bring that up a little bit. There we go. Even though the music's being really weird at the moment, I still want it to be a little bit louder. That'd be kind of nice. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna take it as a challenge that the colony is growing so quickly. I feel like I like the idea of that being a challenge. Because, uh, you know. Oh god, someone just, someone might have died peacefully in their st uh, sleep, but we'll never know. Fair enough. Uh, let's go ahead and actually try and build... Oh Jesus, a lot of people are dying at the moment. Uh, let's build more of the uh, fishing piers. I kind of want a few more of them. So we'll get one over there. And we'll get one over here as well. And we'll get those built hopefully nice and quickly. And that'll hopefully give us a decent amount of resources. Quite a few people injured over here. I still, I can't upgrade this at all, can I? Uh, same with this, I assume. Building condition's good. Oh, hold on. We need to get another one of these guys. Uh, Umba. Go and work in there. We still have a witch doctor. Farm UI overview. So... Why is it just suddenly brought up the tutorial for farms? Not entirely sure why that is. Uh, so this is currently locked. I can't, like, upgrade it or anything. I don't know how any of the upgrade stuff works. I also don't know why everybody's starving. I guess the eatery might be kind of far away from some of these homes. So let's go ahead and throw another eatery. Just over there. And we'll hope for the best. Uh, we also have things like, uh... I think we've built almost everything at this point. We haven't built a forecaster tower, which I would like, because that'll give you more information on the coming weather. So let's build a forecaster tower just there. And let's also go ahead and see if there's anything else that we haven't, haven't built. We haven't got a water reservoir. The reservoir comes in handy when you're generating more water than the civilization's able to use. So... This water can freeze if the temperature drops too low, which is definitely not ideal, but I think we can handle it. So we got a, apparently we got a water reservoir right away, which is interesting. So people can start using that, hopefully. Hopefully we can do some good things with it. This has been built already, so we'll get ourselves a weatherman. We'll go for Chuhu. And that did just give me more information on the coming weather. So winter's coming up next. It's going to be quite a cold one, which is fine by me. Over here, we're going to need to get a nugget working in there, which is going to be Chaho. Which is totally fine. Look at this weather forecast. That's beautiful. That's so good to see. Oh my god, we got the... <laughs> this population, though. Jesus. There's so many alerts. 
I don't know what any of this does. I don't know what that little switch down there does. Uh, so the eatery's done, which is good. So that's... Uh, we're gonna get some people in there that can eat and drink if they so desire. No one's built out here. Oh god, they are building out. They're expanding so quickly! They're expanding so quickly. This is- this is silly. This is so silly, but I love it. Uh, right. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap down a couple more farms and then I'm gonna leave it there for today. Uh, I guess forest farms are gonna be a thing for a little bit. So a forest farm in there as well as, I guess, a forest farm, uh, up there as well. We'll get those done as quick as we can. And that'll hopefully be a decent source of food. Don't know what really grows in forests, but we'll find out. I'm also thinking I want to try and line this entire lake with pumps and also, uh, fishing piers. So... Let's get another pump. I know pump placement works like that. Thank you very much. Uh, so get me a pump there. Water usage. I, I really don't need these tutorials. I feel like I, uh, I feel like I've, you know, done a lot of things already. So, uh, let's get another fishing pier and throw it there. It is worth stressing once again, though, this game is, uh, in alpha. Apparently I'm doing a terrible job, though. Like, so many people are starving. Oh, that's because someone died that worked in the eatery. That explains it. That definitely explains it. Hopefully we can do something about that. Either way, ladies and gents, that's going to be it for today. So if you like the video, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time around here, but that's going to be it. This has been the Universe Sim Part 1. This will be a little mini-series on the channel for a couple of days. So thank you, Kana, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, bye bye <laughs>